From the far corners of the earth, youth sends delegates to the International Student Assembly in Washington. Youth seeking an answer. Youth charting the course it must take in the world after the war. From 56 nations they come, 365 delegates representing all races, all creeds, all colors. Some are refugees from homelands under the domination of the invader. Some have crossed continents and oceans, escaped from political prisons and concentration camps. All seeking their place, their new role in making this a better world in which to live. Young soldiers from Russia, young airmen from the RAF, Students from centuries-old China. Students from Japanese-dominated Korea rallied beneath the banner of the United Nations. In their hands, the future of generations to come. Hindus representing India's 350 millions. Germans, fugitives from a land in which there is no longer freedom. All under one roof, hear President Roosevelt's message broadcast to the world in 31 languages. This time we shall know how to make full use of victory. This time the achievements of our fighting forces will not be thrown away by political cynicism and timidity and incompetence. We must work and we must fight to ensure that our children shall have and shall enjoy in peace their inalienable rights to freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom from want, and freedom from fear. Only on those bold terms can this total war result in total victory.